don't feel comfortable with you watching me when I bath. It's not that unreasonable to ask you to stop. I want some privacy, please. I want to bathe in a bath. Welcome to episode number 27 of the Marty and Michael podcast. It's fully actual. It's actually full. Uh, look, I don't really know what to say because we can't use words. We can't use any words, pretty much. All of the words that we usually use have been taken away from us. And we're going to try not to say them for a few minutes. <laughs> well, to- yeah, so we made it three minutes last time, I think. Yeah. Um, on some positive news, uh, there's uh, the re- age-restricted videos have stopped for now. All right. Um, and uh, one second. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Is it just going to be nothing because he's standing up? (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck happened? I heard something. Did something happen then or I make that up in my mind? You broken? It's jammed. (laughs) The printer is jammed. I've been saving them. I had fucking beans for breakfast, a lot of beans. And I can feel like I was needing to fart so often. And I haven't purposely for like two hours. And now I need to shit. So now I can't fucking do the squirties because there's shit there now. And if I push, I don't want to shit again because last week, it was a shit. I shut on the fucking chair, man. Yeah, we cut it quite quickly because we didn't want it to go on for too long. Well, especially. it's because we didn't want it to get deleted. Yeah, as yeah, well. we're trying to fucking be a little bit more oh, adulty. Sh- sugar me too, um, as we've dropped a couple f bombs. I just realized. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can't like you got you're broken basically. No, I'm, I'm confident that something was surely I, right before we started filming. I was like, I was clenching so hard because there's so much air in me. So sh- that air is not going to seep out of anywhere did, else. Did anything happen then, or did I no, make no, that? No, no, no. I made a sound I up in to, my mind. I have to be careful because I don't want to. Sh- solid. I don't want to shit this green suit. <laughs> no, no, you can, sh- dude. You are more than welcome to shit in the green suit. All right, I can shit the green suit then. Like, but yeah, some can, good news. I'll wash it. Do not worry. We have uh, we've the age restricted videos have stopped for now, so that's nice. But um, yeah, it's still it's a it's an up uphill battle now. So we just got to fucking we do what we can. Okay, we do it. What have we been fucking up to, mate? <laughs> well, we are out of lockdown for the time being. Oh, right, we got a fucking cute little vlog out on the website. Um, we're back to being able to do things, so you can watch <coughs> us a half an hour fucking vlog from our week. Um, what have we been doing? <clears throat> I've been getting stoned. I've been playing tennis. I've been playing a bit of sport we've been filming again we've been fucking with each other mike has been gaming a bit fucking yeah it's all bloody hands back on deck boys oh we got another fucking this is exciting i'll read it to you yeah matt red dead redemption oh, oh everyone shut the fuck up shut the fuck up surrender yourselves <laughs> Is it? No, no, no. I think we're safe. Man, it sounded like when you have a like a bottle full of air and you put it under the bath water and you and the air comes out in the wet. There's such a dangerous suit to be in. I like it. Now it's like you've changed a bit. It's It's good. I can't like do my usual. I know it's changed up. I like it. It's different. We don't know what's going to happen. I can't extend them like I usually. That's okay. Like that. That did sound cramped. Like a fart that's been cramped up. I just want you guys to be happy. Yeah, dude, we're happy. That was good. Made Matt laugh too. Um, (laughs) what are we talking about again? Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a fucking cool email, right? Hi, Marty. Hope you've all been well. Would you and Michael be free for a chat with myself and the team this Friday at 11.30am? It would be great to chat through some potential opportunities and what is possible for Jackass forever. I said, fucking hell yes, we'll be available. She said, amazing. Looking forward to jumping on a call and chatting through how we may be able to work together again. So fuck me. There's fucking more Jackass shit We did good. Yeah, we did good. And hopefully now we can fucking imagine if they were just like, yeah, you can collab with fucking Steve-O and bloody Johnny, brother. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. This time they're going to push you on a semi-trailer, but down a mountain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd have to do something that would actually kill you. You almost died from the fucking A-frame in the... Oh, who knows? Surely that wouldn't have killed me. It depends. If they got your head, 
I reckon. Oh, I reckon you would have got hurt. I reckon you would have survived, though. Head Unless hit. you got unconscious and went in the water of, and drowned. But yeah, that's what I was worried Swung about. Swung around fast, dude. Anyway, um, but yeah, you'd actually have to do something that would... Look at me, Matt. Be careful. No. Look at me! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> oh, was that you or the fart? <laughs> I, I farted. Oh. I, I farted. <laughs> I farted. <laughs> I did a fart, man. <laughs> um, Fuck. And what oh, were we talking about? I'm sitting in my shit. Wait. What were we just talking about? Uh, collaboration with Jackass is possible again. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what else is. Ha- oh, we got to get through the sponsors real quick, eh? Yeah, go for it. Just get it ringing out. Um, fucking. Um, also, this podcast sponsored by fucking manscaped.com. All right. So, if you need your male grooming shit, they got fucking they got shavers. They got fucking fragrances. They got all ball wipes. Just shit that you didn't even know you needed. If you need to buy some male grooming products, just go to manscaped.com. Use our discount code fully actual 20 at the end. Fully actual 20. And then you get 20% off whatever you buy. All right? And then you'll be clean. Simple as that. And they're good fucking products. We use them. We use them a lot. We can be careful with them. You can still nick your ball bag. But it's much, much less likely with this thing than any other razor that we've ever used. If you lube your balls up with the ball wipes... Very hard to. There you go. Little trick. And of course, this podcast is also sponsored by the University of Markle, our very own subscription website. There's like over 170 videos on there that social media has not seen. Okay, they're like weekly vlogs of our lives. We do really fucked up shit in there, especially Michael. And it's just shit that we can't post to social media. So if you want to have a look, there's a free trial, 21 days. PayPal now available. Wait a second. Not the same! <laughs> I want the same back! <laughs> the green suit's really fucked us here. Um, yeah, the green suit is stopping me from being able to project properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, hey, hit and miss. I can't wait to see the finished product. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, sponsored, ball sponsored, sponsored by a subscription website. It funds everything we do. So if you want to support the podcast, go and subscribe. <laughs> if you can't support us financially by doing that, that's fine. I wouldn't do it, but you can support us for free. Just by giving a little thumbs up on your on your phone or on your desktop or wherever you like, <laughs> and then pressing that red subscribe button, and then also just leaving a comment. Maybe I don't know. Maybe comment the word comment or the best or something if you can't think of one. It all helps, and we like reading the comments. The comments are lovely to read. Oh, dude, there was a funny one. There have been lots of funny comments. Oh, fuck, I always forget them. Something about a girlfriend's vagina. Feeling like a horse is Oh, mad. yeah. I saw that, that one too. so funny, dude. Eat, eating, nibbling something Yeah, out of I went hand. to finger my girlfriend at the cinema or something. And it felt like a horse eating out of my hand or something. Yeah, like eating yeah, it. Yeah, I did see something like that. Oh, dude. Very good comment. That was the comment of the week. week. So Week. Very well, maybe we should find comment of the week. Yeah, make us laugh. Because, yeah, a, a few yeah, have on, really yeah, made Let's fucking like... do that. New fucking segment right now on the fucking fly, cunt. Comment of the week. We're going to do it before we answer your questions. And you can <clears throat> you can help vote, all right? Well, you, you go down, scroll, and like your questions you want us to answer and which comment you think is the funniest. Yeah, we could do the comment well, by we'll the people the and the but, comment from us. Yeah, if, if they make a funny comment, we'll read it out. So. Yeah. All right, so fucking there you go. And that's just how life is, right? You but it has to be podcast related. Yeah, yeah. Related to that podcast episode. That's what the comment has to be. Or it can oh, just no, be a just funny... Random, it can just be a random That was random what they said. Like literally Sorry. that fucking comment fucking about hell, the just horse people vagina to watch. thing. Unbelievable. Very good. Did, man. Yeah, that was, that was some that anti-university was really, shit, dude. Really, I'm going home. really frustrated with you right now. We played volleyball on the weekend. Do you guys remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah we had a big sport. So... I have had a like a broken wrist ever since. What did you what? do? Literally going like that, nonstop, hitting it. Like, can you do the motion so people know what I'm doing? Oh, doing that. See me. <laughs> <laughs> doing that. I and went like this. My whole wrist is was destroyed. All 
it still is sore. It's only just recovering. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's, nah, a, that's some weak that's, wrists, that's man. Shit. Yeah, that's shit. Yeah, I don't happen. know what happened. You should, should never have said that to us, man. Like, you, you're less now. You understand? That's not fully actual shit, God dude. God damn it, dude. Like, I'm so angry at you right now. I I'll show for... you. I'll show you. Just for that. Mike! It could have been a good one! I feel like ripping a hole in this green fucking oh. suit so I, I can pull my cheeks apart. Should we? Yeah, yeah. fuck it. All right. All right, bear with us. Just straight down the middle there, brother. Straight down the middle, cunt. Yeah! <laughs> you got a hole in your undies as well? Fucking oath, cunt. Let the ball bag breathe, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let the ball bag breathe, cunt. Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. <laughs> that should be their fucking new slogan, cunt. <laughs> 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 oh, it might have been the time we were on a boat with Marty, and Marty had like, like this little hole near his ball sack, and he'd pull up the undies so it would tighten the hole, and it would look like a little clit was poking out. Yeah, that's right. On our fishing little vlog that, that we was- did. Fucked. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a very like a, a very real small saggy, hole, but I was saggy clip. but I was able to pull my testicle. <laughs> oh, you can't see my hands. I was able to pull my testicle through the underwear, and even though the hole was so tiny, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Yeah, <laughs> I'll good. show you, man. Very good. Um, but yeah, that's that's that, what yeah. else? That's it. There's no no yeah. other news to report in our lives. All right, you guys are so mean to me. You guys are up to date, Matt. Be better. Okay. Yeah, don't get hurt in volleyball. That's you can't say that and not expect to get bullied. It's volleyball, mate. It's volleyball. My but hand, hand hurts. It's okay. You shouldn't you're 34 years old. None of that. That could be the problem. You know oh, what could be the problem? I'll fucking tell you what could be the problem. You fucking listen to me, boy. <laughs> ah! That's the problem, cunt. Still, even with the split, not much of improvement, but we're warming up. No, it's much you, louder. I was yeah. already, I felt better about that one. It's okay. much louder. Yeah. Much more gas. Very, like, you were right. I you have got told a low you gas. Can. I fucking told you you can't, can't. <laughs> All right. All right. On with the on. <clears throat> Diary entries. Oh, yeah. Remember? I thought it was fucking question time, but yeah. Mm. Diary entry number 134 from Michael, Corey, Brookhouse. Today I started flirting with the 86-year-old librarian at my high school. My hand brushed against hers when I handed my book, The Puppy Who Lost His Way, back. (laughs) She wears an old bra that doesn't really support her breasts, so I like to look at her breasts through her blouse because I can see the outline of her saggy breasts. Her voice sounds like Darren Lockyer from years of smoking, but she looks like she would look after me and suck me off well, the only two things that I look for in a woman. (laughs) She's my dream woman with dream breasts. (laughs) And that is true. Michael does love really old, sick fuck bitches. Oh, my God. Like super old, like weathered, barely able to string a sentence together. Bitches. Close. Diary entry number one from Marty. Today I asked my mum for some new shoes because the shoes I have don't fit anymore because I got them when I was 11 and I'm 16 now. (laughs) She said shoes are a once every 10 years thing and she handed me a roll of Glad Wrap. Every morning now I wrap my feet in Glad Wrap and then colour them in with a black pen so they look like shoes. The Glad Wrap works except when I stand on glass or syringes. I hope I live until I'm 20. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, dude. Very good. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson Woods. 4060 till I die. G'day, boys. You. I spent the day today getting my hip hop dance perfect. I done these mad pop locks and did that one where they do those circles with their legs. Now I can now I can tell these mad ass rapper cunts that I can help out with backup dancing in their videos if they need. Plus chicks love it and think you're heaps mad at fucking if you can dance. Ha ha you. I'm going to show some kids how to make a shank out of frozen cum tomorrow. Stab point, stab, stab, spin kick, elbow to the back. Apologize. 
Wow. <laughs> Apologize. Oh, and this, is this that's an out fucking, of school one? That's a different week. <clears throat> He's apologizing now. Fucking what? What's going on there, Julian? Hey, Julian. Dick. Diary entry number 890 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> I was spending my Saturday wandering around the cemetery. I enjoyed watching all the different people crying, and sometimes I even got to see bodies. <laughs> I was particularly interested in a lady who had a very unique crying sound. She was sobbing madly and the sound she was making heightened my senses. I walked closer to the funeral she was attending and started walking around the outskirts of the event. The more I observed this sobbing lady, the more intrigued I became. I noticed that some of my matte sap had started leaking from my brown flesh tube and into my nappy. I could smell that something wasn't quite right and edged closer and closer. Unbelievably, that same girl stood to deliver the eulogy. My hips expanded as if ready to receive someone's seed. Tears were streaming down her face and my tongue tongue shot out and did circles. Then she spoke. She, did so, she had some sort of accent, one I did not recognize. It stimulated my glands and I grew taller. I added 20 centimeters to my height within minutes. She continued to speak when my eyes zoomed in on her face, and there I saw it. She was wearing a hearing aid. My new favorite woman was deaf. I'd lusted over deaf girls bef before, but this was different. I could see myself caring for her, and there was no, no urge to physically attack. I walked closer and was now a part of the funeral itself, only meters from my hearing impaired love. My butt cheeks solidified and my heart started crawling around my chest, abusing my other organs. I was ready to launch myself at her when her husband walked up and comforted her during the eulogy. I felt sick, the only girl I'd ever loved and of course she breaks my heart. She's just like the others. I will make her hurt like she hurt me. I retreated back into the surrounding bush, not taking my eyes off the deaf slut for a second. <laughs> She would be easy to stalk, for she cannot hear me approaching. But for now I wait, bounding backwards through the bushes, following clues to find her home. Oh, dude, the only girl I've ever loved. He's just met her at a funeral. He hasn't even spoken to her. What does a deaf girl crying sound like? Is that different to like a normal girl crying? I'm not answering anything. <laughs> well, why don't we have a go? <laughs> I'm out on this one. Okay, so we had to cut out my deaf uh, impression, but it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty fucking spot on. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, you know, and genuinely curious, like, how they can all have the same accent. I don't know. Because you think it's... it'd be like, you know, if you haven't been able to hear your entire life, you would interpret sounds differently. You would sound different, individual by case by case. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fucking... It's a bit of a head fuck, isn't it? It's a tricky situation. It's... But Germany. Yeah, Germany. Yep, yeah, that's a country for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good point, Michael. Germany is... Yeah, so true. I didn't think about it like that. Is there different accents in Germany? Yep. Yeah. West, there's Western and there's Just Eastern. Just like there's different Australian accents. Oh, I think we've spoken of that before. But deaf? Is there really different Australian accents? There is like the ochre. Trust me. Far ochre. You can yeah, go. Like bush. Bush fucking Aussies. <laughs> Literally. The, we got Brisbane accents. You can go to the Gold Coast and it's like, it's different. Really? Yeah. I think the more rural you get, the more, yeah, the, the more different it is. If you're in the country. But, but deaf people, city, fucking bush. Yeah, it's, it's just a curious thing. It's a, it's a curious if you if you if you know comment and let us know. Marty would like what, to know. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just, you've met Aaron. You know, I'm scientific. It's just a, a scientific from Dyer's the Wild One, the podcast. Like yeah. he's he's got a Gold Coast surfer accent. Yeah, it's just a bit different. <laughs> so well, there, there you go. go. Fucking accents, eh? Anyway, we got fucking jam packed show. Holy shit, we got questions. We got German th shit. <laughs> jam packed show. At th yeah, anyway. We got fucking what else? We got man. We got some secrets, mm -hmm. eh? We got a fuck couple of secrets. Mm -hmm. You guys are in for a real fucking bitch Hopefully treat. Hopefully some farts. Arnold Fine. Arnold Fine returns for the prank call. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's fucking let's get into this next segment, uh. which has been renamed. <laughs> And this is a segment where we just answer your questions. And if you want us to answer your question, just comment in the fucking Buddy Michael Fully actual YouTube channel. And the most liked questions we will try and answer. All right? So have a scroll through and just pick which ones you want us to answer. On with the show, my little brown. Um, <coughs> cut that, Connor. 
Yeah, cut all that, Connor. Uh, sorry, I'll just be one sec. Fucking hell, man. Here we go again. Like, this is the third time this evening that you've dropped the ball. Your first, your wrist is sore from volleyball? <laughs> and now, and now what? You want a few seconds while we're filming? Have you got a fart? No, Michael. I don't have a fart every time I move, okay? <laughs> I can see him watching me in his peripheral and every fucking time I move my arm, he starts turning like a fucking... Like he's a fucking dog who's obsessed with the tennis ball and I've got the tennis ball. <laughs> you are the tennis ball. Um, all right. First question... <laughs> His fucking wig is one of the fucking most fucking fucking throats already lined with fucking long black hairs. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but it's really fucked, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, funny. That's better. Um, all right. Top question. Looks like I went to Br- Broderick Morse. Yes, Brodo. Brodo. <laughs> um... Question for Michael. Uh, do you get angry that Marty cheats so often in all your competitions? Oh, I, I do. But then I, don't know, I get over it. I've got, I'm pretty relaxed all in all. Like once something's happened and it's over, like. Well, if I get away with it, it is pretty funny, you know? And, and like, it, I guess it is cheating, Right, but I like to try and think outside the box and find things that we haven't discussed yet. So it's not like obvious cheating. It's just a different skill. I, I, I'm thinking about the same issue in a different way, and it gets me results. Mm. <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm cheating. When you do it, can you move your fingers away so it looks like it's just yeah, that's it. Hmm. All right. Next question is from Brady Straub. Straub. Um, can we see a question and Matt series similar to the Tim and Calvin one? Matt stands no chances. I believe the question has evolved in recent years. So Tim and Calvin is characters that are on our website only. It's, it's a, a saga series. that yeah. we made. It's like a three-part episode series. Um, yes. Would yeah. you do it? I don't know. I mean, we're not really good in the same room. Well, um, it's funny that you bring question up because... Um, you know, he gave me his uh, contact details last week. Yeah. I messaged him. Next week, is it? Well, we'd, we'd say we'd check with you first, but... Um, oh, yeah, we, of course. Well, um, you can't have... If you're going to... It's your idea to bring him on. Yeah, I He knows how to do fucking podcast shit too. He said he'd set it all up. Well, Matt can set it up and then... I'll and set it leave. up, but I can't be in the same room. Yeah, as him. well, that's what I said to him. Don't tell him I'm here. I'll just have to go. No, no, I wouldn't. I've already said. Because he, he asked if you were going to be there and I said, there's no fucking He'll way. see you. We'll have to like do something like spray <coughs> some stuff in the air because he'll sniff me out pretty quick. You can just hide in my bed. No, no, no. Let's, you, Matt, you're not, you're not going to be here. You fucking... Yeah. Set it up. Drive home. Drive home and leave... Because I don't want any problems, all right? I don't want... If there's a scuffle where you break the set, come on. You know what I mean? So, but next week... You don't week, know how it's going to go. It could be either like violence or fucked up sex. Yeah, but... I haven't seen him in like six years. Would you reckon he'd still be trying to fuck you? I don't know. He's Surely. gotten weird and like very weird in the last... Surely he would try and fuck that sweet brown round of yours. Split it in the middle. <laughs> All right. So is that is that a definite? He's coming on. Yeah, Look I said. Him. I said we check at this fucking guy, dude. I said that we check with you. <laughs> you look like David Winter with long hair. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> David Winter. Oh fuck. But yeah, okay. he said he's available to come on next week if it's all right with you. So for next week, do you just want to? Well, I'm all about making this the best. So if you guys think it's going to make this the well, best, we'll I'm leave it for it. We'll leave it to you guys. Do you guys want to see Question on the show next week for or for an interview? <clears throat> Comment Question yes for yes or Question no if you just want Matt here. Okay, but you know it's it'll just be for one episode, and you know whatever he says, you can review the footage. We won't post it. Yeah, well, the, it in the following episode, I'll I'll uh, reply. Okay, yeah, this could be cool. A little um.
podcast conversation here between Matt and his sick, twisted twin brother, Question Questin the best in. All right, next question is from Anna Johnson. And I like her question. Question is for Michael. Michael, what do you spend your money on other than Uber Eats and arcade games? Your house looks like you bought it from a 90-year-old woman who died. <laughs> so you got it dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to keep all the stuff including a shower curtain <laughs> what do wow. I buy fuck okay um, that is so true look at the lights like, yeah, they're that, so it, it's fucking... so old school hey you can't even touch the lights you get electrocuted <laughs> if you grab them yeah <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck do I buy? What do you spend your money on? Um, like, fucking food. Oh, yeah, but that's what she said. Other than food. Food, weed, and games. Well, sports, shit, and just entertainment. Skateboard? I've yeah. Got a, yeah, I'm buying a new skateboard as well. Um, Clothes. Just you- like typical. Imagine a teenage boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's 31. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You go shopping on Thursday nights. Yeah, yeah. It's like late night shopping. Late night shopping. Go to the food court with the girls and the boys. Um, I don't know. Yeah, literally, last thing I bought that was like a toy was a lava lamp. <laughs> it's like a teenage fucking boy. What the fuck? It does look I'm like a fucking no- teenage boy in a 31 year old. Man, I'm looking around to try and help you and give you some support of something you've bought, but you're not helping. Well, what does anyone spend? I'm trying to think now what I spend like, my what money What do you on. really need? I don't know. Like, if I could, I'd go travel and I can't travel. Yeah. Because yeah, of- yeah, that's true. Yeah, you've, we just recently spent a bit of money on New Zealand, yeah. which you didn't get to go to, which is such a shame. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I'd probably be spending it on traveling. <laughs> what do you spend your money on? I think I- At the moment? Yeah. Um, sometimes plants. Got oh, a few yeah. plants in my place. Um, and also have a little thing with basketball cards at the moment, which is so nerdy, but it's true. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and I've got a bit of debt, so I've been paying that off over the years. Yeah, fuck. I think I just spend my money on like on probably the most uh, going out and eating because yeah. I. Me and Mon just love to fucking eat delicious food now, mm. and have never had money before, so it's just like it's so cool to just go and try. Yeah, try as much as yeah, you, you love want. your fancy restaurants. Yeah, you guys go and have some fun times. Yeah, we're fucking fucking living the dream, cunt. And do you know why? Because of seafood? It's we're the best. Best. So because of seafood. <laughs> <laughs> you both like seafood. Um oh. uh, next one is from Dave and oh fuck me with these names. David Winter. Bisner, Bisner, Bisner. Bilsner. David Bisner. I'm going with that. Um, Shut the fuck up, Bisner! Take <laughs> 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 that! Ah, <tried> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, man. Take <laughs> that! <laughs> That is fucking there. He's back. Whoa! He's back. It wasn't the longest, but it was quite long, and it had variation. Oh, which is you what know what? Like. I've just realised something. Good boy, dude. I've just realised. <laughs> we don't have to blur anything with this one. Yeah, unless you can, because there's a hole yeah, in now. A, yeah, but yeah, you can't answer. see it sideways. Connor, if you can see anything, please, please, <laughs> fucking blur it. Hey, I'm, so there's my ball bags hanging out of a massive hole in the undies. It could just be fucking asshole balls fart all in one, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure my self esteem can take another blow. <laughs> I like the way you said blow then. Very good. <laughs> Matt's loving it. <laughs> Matt's pissing, pissing, pissing. Um, all right, next question. Um, David. <laughs> um, what is, what is question scent? I feel like it is a mixture of fish heads, mothballs, and cloves. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're the only one who would be able to answer that, man. I haven't met him. <sighs> Hawk? That's just a meaty smell. Yeah. Off meaty smell. Oh, yuck. Oh. Hopefully, he's, like, don't hate him when he arrives next week. <laughs> 
Yeah, like imagine if we bashed him. Yeah, or, or we all fucked. Or we fucked him, and then he replaced Matt. Dude, he's strong. He's <laughs> never turned into us two and Question. <laughs> <laughs> we were always destined for Question. <laughs> question is the best. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> it's from Swamp Box 69. That is not a nice name. <laughs> Swamp Box. Actually, cut that. Oh, oh yeah, wait. Sorry. I saw. Can we just quickly comment on this? Someone has made a YouTube account called My Little Brown. Yeah, My Little Brown, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That is and he, even his pitches like something about Little Brown as well. But that deserves a cat on the back. <laughs> Let's give that one a cat on the back. <laughs> one more question from that account. <laughs> oh, cat on the Ooh. back. Ooh. Oh. oh. That's how Michael farts. <laughs> farts. Question will be naked. Imagine if you... Uh, I can see you on Question like... I'm actually... That's exactly what I've been thinking about. Like, fuck it. like I haven't had sex in a while. Fuck it. He could be dominating, man. Oh, Just okay. be careful. Well, lucky we got the OnlyFans going. Oh, should we have an update on that quickly? Oh, fucking hell. Let's have a look at it. Sorry to interrupt the, the questions. Oh, sorry. I mean, questions. <laughs> We're going to give you a quick OnlyFans update. We've changed the pictures from us three. Because you need it, we all needed to like write in and giving consent for those pictures to be used since we were all in them. So we change it to the logos, <clears throat> and we're about to see if we've been verified or not. All right, let's cross our fingers. Are your fingers crossed, Matt? There we go. They're, they're crossed now. Should represent. Stop, the everyone! Stop. Okay, fuck. Oh no, this one feels like it's gonna hurt. I don't want it to hurt, man. I'm scared. Ah. Oh. It's kind of meaty. Oh, please. You are both killing me. Oh, oh that one was so, oh. like, slow. It was a damp, it was a damp slow romantic oh. dance. So, um, yeah, we're, oh, we're on the OnlyFans. It's fucking getting there. Anyway, on with the fucking questions. Sorry about that fart. Next question is from Matt Sheehan, who I was think is the person who gave us our current sign for the PO box. Um, he was asking, "Can you legends explain the full rules of Toka so we can make a USA team?" Oh, oh, man, we gave a short description quickly on uh, someone who's asked a question before in a previous podcast. Maybe we should make a just mix the sports tennis, soccer, and volleyball together. Yeah, we'll ba basically mix the sports. Soccer, Soccer and, tennis. and volleyball and Soccer play and it tennis. on a tennis court. Yeah, with tennis scoring rules. Mm. And and the lines as well. Yeah, so it's the court. You use the court of tennis and you just mix volleyball and soccer together. Yeah. That's what it is. So. And this is what I am. <laughs> Never going to get through. <laughs> There's gaps in your gut. There's so much <laughs> gaps in my gut. Gaps of gas. <laughs> oh. Dude, that was so anticlimactic. That is who I am. Oh. Be Be <laughs> like a pyramid, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it done. starts with thick, thick foundation, gets up to middle. a soft point. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The point was like. <laughs> Next question is from Flyknoe Fia. <laughs> Next question is from Dan Jones. Um, if you were girls for a day, what would you guys do? What, what would your day consist of? Well, I think the obvious. I'd go and breastfeed as many fucking babies as I could. I'd try and get six at once and smush the little fucking <laughs> soft little fucking skulls together. Get all six mouths around my areola cunt and fucking get him in there and feed the cunts. And with my other hand, squeeze the base of my tit so it squirts out hard. Well, yeah, like it would feel good to be knowing that you're feeding the young. That's what women get to feel. But I, I probably it. wouldn't do that. I'd just like, i grab myself heaps. Would you get fucked by a dude to see what it feels like? Yeah. No. 
Oh, you could Matt. answer that far too quickly. <laughs> like three Did at the same like, time. Yeah, like oh, like you could probably imagine going to yourself. Yeah, whoever's in your body and getting yourself to fuck you. Now that's an option. That I'd would be, be willing to consider. Yeah, that'd be depends so what strange. type of woman's body you're in as well. I'd like. It'd be so funny for social experiments. Oh, rip a breast off. Yeah, rip a breast off. It's not your body. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you have touched on something there with the baby part. Um, real news. Did you guys hear that a magpie killed a baby in Brisbane? Bullshit. No lie. What it pecked its eyes? Um, I believe I can get it up. Sorry, I, his I believe eyes? I'm already up. <laughs> called the baby. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. He or she's eyes. Um, wait, so the magpie just would have just repeatedly pecked its head. The soft part of its skull. Oh. It would have been like a pin going into a pin cushion. <laughs> Dead. I wish that you can't see his finger. He's doing a very oh, okay. So <clears throat> Sorry, I've read more into it. So basically a magpie swooped oh. Oh. and hit the mother and she fell and the baby was killed oh what she was holding the baby and she smushed oh, it in her no. arm in her mum's arms that is so unlucky there you go Fuck, magpies are fucking murderous cunt. that's fucking manslaughter how cunt. crazy is that magpies we've done videos with magpies are and they're fucking scary man yeah they're, and it's nearly ma it's coming up to magpie season she's already getting swooped which they're, means another video is on the way they're early they're fucking <laughs> early maybe we should re do that that the sim like simulate it i'll be in your arms and we'll see well you can be the baby and we'll discuss which way to fall if you're getting swooped by a bird so to not crush your baby to death so it's science and to help yeah <laughs> science and help next question is from jesper um what was said after Marty shat on the loudspeaker? You guys talked a lot about censoring the videos, but um, what was said after you shat? Well, after I went and had a brief shower, we discussed um, how this uh, would affect our current issues with the age restrictions. Um, I was also quite ashamed and embarrassed at what had happened. So we asked Connor to clean it up a bit. And um, he cut a lot of um, teasing. Look. There were some insults getting thrown around. I don't want to repeat them, but like my feelings were quite hurt. Especially with Julian here, you understand. He he was just not letting it go. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so, you know, it's um, it, it wasn't it, good. It wasn't good. Two little droplets of shit um, were on the chair. Um, and yeah, it was <laughs> like, it's it was one of my worst fears had come true. Well, we, it's, it's the second time it's happened. The first time it was on me. Yeah. So like, I guess it, it, we would have kept it if it was on me. But- that's the third time that there's been shit on, and that's podcast. probably why we're getting anxious. Yeah, we're trying so to so cut so it we down. We show that I shat, but then just move on quickly. Mm. Mm, we're trying. <laughs> Next question oh, is from James Kirkpatrick. Kirk Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> um, would you guys ever go into a shark cage and go shark diving? Fucking oath, yeah. can't. That'd we be so that scary. Well, let's all yeah, we, let's organize it. Yeah, for, let's book uh, it in tomorrow. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, and if we want to, if we ever in Darwin, we should go do the same thing with, with the crocodile. Keen. Dressed as crocodiles. Yeah. So we might not even need Or chicken, cage. either way. Yeah. So, we, yes, we would definitely get in with sharks. Yeah. I would fucking be so scared. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be like pushing my breasts against the cage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so sexually Put nervous. Put your dick in between the poles. Yeah, pushing my body right <laughs> against it, squishing into the cage. Next question is from Matthew Knowles. <laughs> you can't see him moving his hands. We need to fucking cut the hands. <laughs> That's what I was so thinking. Funny. I, so I said, if you had the you hands out. Scissors. What oh, about wait. just the fingers? Hey, I reckon it'd be like Maori or, or some shit with the yeah, whole hands. All right. All right. Give him a wave. Ah, look at uh, uh, magic of the editing. All right, next question is from Matthew Knowles. Um, <laughs> who is the coolest person you've ever collaborated with? Ah, oh, there's cool in some ways and there's cool in other ways. Fucking... However you want to do it, man. Well, excluding the Australian audience. Like, uh, sorry, the Australian dudes. Because... It would have been cool to work with the Zach ass. Yeah. We talked to him and met him and had a fucking fun little night together. Yeah, he's a legend. But um, yeah, we were trying to tee up filming and it just didn't happen in the short time that we were there. 
We, we've, who, I, I guess, forget who we have collaborated. We've collaborated with. with Corey Funk in a way. Oh yeah, and what about he slept over at our house? The Nitro Circus boys who were pretty cool. Fucking the oh, <coughs> and Chad Tepper. What about from our sports series? There were some legends in that. Yeah, Anthony Mundine. Yeah, fucking um, who else? <sighs> Uh, fucking, of course, Pritchard from Dirty Sanchez. That was pretty cool. Fuck, man. You can't... Uh, we've fucking... Hamish and Andy, we basically... Roger uh, Federer. We basically collabed with them because Andy's <laughs> sent us that text <laughs> message. <laughs> to collab. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking oh, this is gonna slut. Be- this whole podcast is just fucking. <laughs> oh, oh, they're is, getting bad. Dense population. That's a <laughs> damp, damp, damp sound. Uh, Very damp. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Next question is from Brian Childers. Um, <laughs> this is so fucking sick, dude. Oh, so much gas. All we do is fart. Um, Brian asked, um, Michael, if you were to go to prison, how long do you think it would take before you become someone's prison bitch? <laughs> Not long. <laughs> Fuck. If you went in with me, it would be immediate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd claim Pens- him as my I think own. Australian prisons are pretty chill, right? That's not what Julian would say. Fuck Did off, Julian they be are. Like, I've heard the worst fucking stories in Australian prisons. I couldn't imagine what other places are like. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. We'd see what happens, eh? It might happen. Yeah, I reckon um, I'd make him my own and become really protective and jealous over Michael <laughs> and not let anyone get too close. I wouldn't behave like a human being after a while. It would just be sort of sounds and movements. I wouldn't <sighs> speak to anyone. I'd just keep Michael behind me at all times. <laughs> He'd just be fucking like trying to cover me so no one can even look at me. Yeah. We go to fucking breakfast and it's you just at the table like this. I'd be a metre taller and my arms would be a metre longer. <laughs> but I'd be the same weight. <laughs> All right, fuck. We got to... Have we got... Has this been going forever? We yeah, need to there's concentrate. A lot of, there's a lot of fuckery though. So... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, any so, boring bits, Connor? Yeah, cut. just cut the dead time. But all these, all these great, hilarious little jokes in between that we that just sprout Tangents. out. Leave them in because this is great. It's such good improv. <laughs> <laughs> and leave us explaining that in as well. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> they need to. Hear. Michael is right. We need to get a, a flurry on. <laughs> oh, how long we've we been going for, my? Oh, we've my just s- hit an hour in time, but. In overallness, there's a lot of cutting, so we're probably, in theory, probably like 40 minutes. Okay. 45. Yeah, that's a long time for questions and talk, we call it now, remember? Questions and talk. Oh, no. Don't we call it secrets and crime? (laughs) No, no. The questions, because we talk and questions. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, talk and questions and secret and crime, they're all combined now. Yeah. Everything is one. Oh... I'll By the way, what. do you guys want some... Um... <laughs> you look so fucked in that green suit, I'll dude. I'll tell you what, I feel good. <laughs> Wave a hand in there. No, the other one. Yeah, right. Oh, man. I, I've got the giggles a bit now. All right. Do you want some secrets or what? Um, Tell you what. I'll tell you what. That reminds me of a story. I don't know why I thought of this story. I thought of it last night lying in bed and I was like, oh, it's pretty funny. Right, we can cut it if you just want. I don't know. We'll see what happens, all right? Okay. It's just a story I don't think you guys have heard yet either. Okay. Um, I'm excited. So, it was high school, I was fucking um, wagon school, right? In Toowoomba, right before I moved to Brisbane. And I very rarely did this. I just fucking wag. I was like, Are you with Henry? No. Nah. Little Michael? No, nah, all alone. Okay. And um, we were selling the house, or not selling, we were renting the house out at the time. So, real estate people, I oh, know, we, we owned it. It was <clears> a <throat> shitty little house and we were selling it to move to Brisbane and that day, so real estate people were constantly bringing people over. <clears throat> and, um, you know, that day I fucking heard the real estate guy pull up and he's obviously expecting me to be at fucking school. And if he sees me at home, he's going to tell mom and I'm going to get a fucking shit bean out of me by a massive German woman. So I fucking <laughs> turned the TV off, legged it and hid under one of the bedroom beds. 
and he fucking unlocks the door walk is walking around the house giving these people a tour and i'm fucking lying <laughs> under the bed dude that this is like investigator movies yeah dude i was shitting myself because i was like if i get caught like mum's gonna find out and how fucking embarrassing what am i gonna say to these people why are you under the bed <laughs> yeah this fucking little 16 year old would have been worse so much hair. worse and then they fucking walk around. I even see the feet come into the room and walk back out. And then they left and boom, problem solved. I never got caught. Yeah. Oh, I wish you got caught. <laughs> can't wait to tell your mum that story. Yeah, I was thinking that as I remembered that. I can't wait to tell mum this. Yeah, wow. See so fuck. fucking I can't believe you used to wag by yourself. Yeah, it was, a, it was a last minute decision. Yeah, I used to do it too. I used to go to the beach. I hadn't slept. There's no point. I hadn't yeah. slept. You wag with your friends, right? No, because oh, everyone's yeah, in different classes and you can't get away and... Yeah, yeah, I hadn't slept. I hardly ever wagged. <coughs> Just saying. Yeah, fucking wood. I was a tennis kid. No. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, sorry. So, some secrets. Right. So, segment's been renamed or still staying? Up to you. Has it been renamed or not? You want to give me the name of it? You want secrets. To show, show me a piece of paper with the name you've written on it? Secrets. Secrets. All right. So segment's still in your of secrets. Well, secrets on, on, slash. I got a couple crime. too. On with the secrets. What ones do you have? Are they the same as mine? Mine are very oh, fast. Sorry, I'll read them first. first. Okay. All right, first secret is I fucked my boss's wife in the office. Oh, of the damn, restaurant bitch! I run. She squirted. She wait. Read the end of that sentence again. I fucked my boss's wife in the office of the restaurant I run. She squirted. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> she pissed. <laughs> okay, and the last one is. I used to sneak into my stepsister's room and dig through her dirty laundry until I fi- found a pair of panties. Then I'd take them off to my room and beat my meat while savoring the fragrance. That's, that's literally similar to your fucking diet. No, I don't do that. Now, uh, all right. <laughs> Move it on. <laughs> Brown got anyway, ups. Anyway, there you go. <sighs> and yes... You can't. <laughs> I know. I know for a fact. <gasps> for a fact. <laughs> All right. The secret is from. <laughs> Starts with a B, this name. It does. Oh. When I was younger, myself and my friends had an idea to shit on some, on some toilet paper and smear it on the next door neighbor's door handle when they weren't home, Smart. obviously. Um, because they were kind of C bombs. I won't swear. Because they were kind of cunts to keep your ball. They, they're the type of people that would keep your ball if it went over the fence. So to get at them, they would, they're would they going to shit in some toilet paper and smear it on the door over there. It's smart. Little did we know when they arrived home, their six-year-old son was the one to open the door. <laughs> oh, that is good. So when they got home, all I, rem- all I remember is him screaming, Oh, I got poo on me. <laughs> oh, dude. Very good. That's, wow. that's, that's yeah. a little cat that's on the back. Secret man. of the that's day. A little cat, cat on the back, everyone. Very catty. <laughs> Backy. Yeah, that's it. Michael, you used to do that. Smear shit on things. Yeah, there was one car in the neighborhood. Who was that? I don't know. I didn't even like, we <laughs> didn't even dislike him. It was just, you have to go to the same car each time. Because so that someone just, thinks that someone hates them has it out for them. Yeah, we used to like piss on the <laughs> same like, car. It's like you go egging. Time. You don't throw eggs at just a house. You find houses with the windows open. <laughs> oh, it's fucking Dude, evil. It's so, like, <laughs> that's so evil. We would just, like 10 eggs. Everyone go one, two, three. They just all go in one window of a house. It's <laughs> like, so yeah. shocking to see. <laughs> Imagine you're just trying to watch TV. <laughs> and then do, 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 do. All these eggs just smash like a fucking machine gun right next. Or they hit your wife. Imagine that. And then she cheats on you. <laughs> All right. The next one's a bit disgusting, but we're going to do it. Um, it is also from somebody who starts with a B. The bees. The bees. <laughs> All right. The bees. So I jerk off and I have a cum rag. Is this you, Matt? Or no, it's not me. It? Okay, you're reading the... <laughs> you're reading the secret. I jerk off and I have a cum rag. And it smelt really bad after a while. Oh. It was covered in jizz. And one night I was at my mate's house for a few nights. And when I came back, I walked in and mum said she had cleaned my room. I ran into my room and took a look around and I realized she had taken the cum rag out of my room. <laughs> 
She hadn't said anything about that cum rag and it was about five months old. Oh my God. That is fucking fucked. Imagine knowing that your mum has seen that. Oh, is she oh, like, did she wash it? She's obviously picked it up, cleaned it. He couldn't find it in his room. So she's cleaned it. Yeah. And it was about a five months old. I would have made something. I'd be like, oh, mum, have you seen my arts and crafts towel? I use it, to, <laughs> it's I use it glue. to- I use it to smear up all the glue that I use when I'm making my paper machés and then turn around and point to 15 paper machés. Yeah, I would have got straight to work. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, paper mache, paper mache, paper- Oh. oh. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no. I just made a mess. I, I got to admit, I think there was one point when I was like 16 or 17, there was a towel and it was only like two weeks and it was fucked. Could you imagine five months? I would just use like toilet paper and shit, not the same rag over and over. I always just let it go all over me and then I run to the shower. <laughs> I just jizz in your foreskin and then it just evaporates. I don't know. Oh, that. <laughs> oh imagine yeah. that. Mummy and daddy <laughs> took mine. All right. Um, is, is that the secrets? Oh, very, yeah. very good secrets, everyone. Very Do nice. we have any secrets we want to share with everyone? Yeah, send the secrets in. I really love them. That mate. was good. I enjoyed those And be those clear ones. and well spoken, and they will make yeah. it. And just to be clear, you can the secret. The crimes are the secret as well. Like if you want, oh, yeah, to if you've got your, a crime, if, you, if you've done done a crime, if you want to send in a crime that you've committed that no one knows about, we promise you, swear to God, we'll fucking won't say word no one and we can talk about in this segment so everyone's having a great time let's yeah that's a good a chat very back, very man. good there's a little cat on the back <laughs> i'm moving right along to the next segment and whoa it's been renamed <laughs> and it's a segment where we open the things that you guys have sent us on the P.O. box. Yes. <laughs> Present time. You're going to have to open up a letter. People have been asking. Yeah, well, let's open up Julian's letter because it's not for us. Oh, I've got an itch on All right. Foot. So, this is a letter we got sent. It says Julian on, on it, but um, I just want to have a read. If that's all right with you guys. Dear Julian, I will send you a gift, but first tell Marty or Michael to read my message from the Instagram account. Please do not mention my Insta name out. <laughs> I first must see that. The letter has gotten to you on the podcast and to see if Marty or Michael have seen my message on Instagram. Then you will get gift. Thanks, love you, from Andrew. P.S. I sent the message to their Marty and Michael Instagram account and I'm asking you to do this because they have not been opening letters and you don't get stuff from fans that much. <laughs> so do what I ask and you get a prize. Love I told you, it's the same dude that does the codes because it's the same handwriting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but and I'm since he's... Dude, I've, okay, I've got you. <laughs> sorry. I've got... What's his name? Oh. Oh, so disappointing. Now I have to put my mouth on this. <laughs> I've got your codes, dude, but... I just haven't got around to open, uh, doing one. I swear I did one the other one. And week. we do read the letters. The fan letters yeah. we do read, we just don't read them all out. I haven't opened them yet because, yeah, we sort of want to have, like, not gremlins, but other toys before codes. <laughs> yeah, like visual. But yeah, let's see what the message was on Instagram quickly. All right, so Michael's looking up this dude's Instagram handle. Let's see what he DM'd us. And this, by the way, uh, ensures that Julian will not get a prize from them because we've just ruined it. Okay, oh, yeah. so, so to summarize, basically, he said that he loves the podcast, he loves watching our pranks, but he would like it if we started a separate channel where all we do is open the P.O. box stuff because he finds that the most interesting. If people agree with him, we will extend this segment. So if you want the P.O. unboxing segment to, to be longer and we open more shit and re like read the letters, you fucking say the word and we'll fucking do it. But 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 the reason now just let me be clear. Michael's in a <laughs> let me be a clear. <laughs> let me be clear here. <laughs> the reason why he wants the fucking packages is because he wants me to be sitting here doing all his coats. <laughs> He wants the code. He just he wants, wants me to be doing oh, the code. He, he just wants Michael doing code. Because like he wants me to go through the code. And go through, he wants me. That's why he'd have a whole separate video of just the unpacking shit. 
That's oh what's going God, on. Oh my God, that's fucking you hilarious. You can start a new channel, the Michael. Code just guy. You codes. I probably shouldn't have read that. It's Julian's letter, but oh, well, I'm glad we figured all that out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving along. Yeah, let us know if you want the PO unboxing segment out. to be longer. All right, this is a little package from um, Easily Distracted Clothing in Glen Glenelg in Adelaide. Fucking here we go. He sent a few stickers. It wasn't Glen Eagle, was it? Glen Sorry. Eagle? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So he sent some stickers, the last style bender, easily distracted clothing, uh, save a horse, ride a bush boy, fucking kill in the streets, coint in the sheets, real men drink cruises, not here to fuck spies. So he sent some cool little bloody um, stickers and this letter. Hey legends, keep killing it. Your podcast is absolutely lit. Hopefully one day when I grow my brand, I will one day be able to sponsor you guys. Keep up the great work, you weird fuckers. P.S. That freaky fuck from the diary entries is too busy playing with his little brown to subscribe to the university. It's disgraceful. He should chop his hands off. Hope you have this hope you like the stickers, legends. From Jackson, easily distracted clothing. Thank you very much. Thank Jackson. you, Jackson. <laughs> Thank you for the stickers, dude. And yeah, fucking, not many fucking businesses willing to sponsor the the old uh, podcast. So fucking, there you go, brother. All right. Last little package. And this is from Crossy Ink Productions. Crossy Ink Productions. Mm, Yes, it's quite a large package. Oh, I see people. There's people in here. Oh, no. My mistake. There are no people in here. So, all right, yes, a gift, all right, a real toy. All right, we have a, what do you call these, badges? A button. A button, is it? Badges, button, same thing. Yeah, so one of these. Wait, this is... Crossy Ink Productions. Smelling too good to be... And uh, we have a little box that says, fuck a duck in it. Features one it foul looks play like it's love been, hole. It, oh. looks, it looks like it's been played with. Yeah, it does smell quite nice, doesn't it? What... Oh my god, is that cash and a used fucking condom? I knew something was up. It's not real cash. Oh man. Oh, That's the a- cash is so you grab at it quickly. Oh, you put a fucking condom in the duck and I they've really sent it. my fingers. Yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't. Oh! oh. He's fucked the duck. He's fucked the <laughs> duck. And he's put the fucker duck back in its package. And then the condom, dude. Oh. The, what? That's like fifty loads in there. Yeah, nah. He's gone <laughs> that's extreme. A huge load. But I do. That's pretty cool idea to fuck the duck, send the cum, and then send the duck as well. See if you can read around because he okay. sent a letter as well. I'm assuming it's a he. I don't think any girl would ever be fucked enough to do this. Hey, Michael and Marty. I'm a huge fan of the show, and I tune in every week to engorge myself with the nastiness of your show. Therefore, I had to show you my excitement in the form of a letter and a little bit of daddy's love lotion that both of you sexy beast must rub on their skin or else you get the panty hose from the bin. Michael, (laughs) the duck is for you too. I get to fuck the duck. (laughs) To Netflix and chill, her name is Quacky. Oh, I'm going to move it. You can put your fleshlight in it now and then you're fucking... You got a person, pretty much. <laughs> oh, a person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marty, this one is for you. Fucking hell. The condom is um, rolling around a lot. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's in German. <clears throat> it's great. I'm still, yeah, I don't want to touch that fucking condom. Okay, I'll uh, do my best to read this. My German is not the best. Remember, I was three years old when I left, so no laughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> An meine liebste sommersprossige Schlampe. Ich, gehe, ich gebe dir beide meine geschatzte Ente. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yuck. Excuse me? Cut that, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Maybe shorten it, but we uh, maybe cut it. I don't know, but leave this abuse in after. <laughs> um, there's some easy ones here if you want. Oh, is that right, Matt? Some easy ones. All right, no, give me a little sniffle. All right, we have two more packages. Matt, can you um take this condom with the uh, that letter and we'll just sit that over there. Yeah, don't put it in the bin because I actually do keep everything. You are definitely fucking that dark. Fuck a duck, eh? Fuck a fucking fuck duck. Fuck a duck. 
you even want to keep the ones from last week? The weird shit? Yeah, that's out the front on the porch. What do you want to do with this? Oh, what is this? Keep one? it on the porch. What the fuck is this? I don't even... It feels slimy. It's a brown slimy something in a little plastic bag. Oh, it's like fake poo, I reckon. Do you prank, reckon? Prank, yeah, because this, these packages we always get sent. Oh, yuck. I don't like it. No, 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 no. Keep it. Because look. You want some gum? No. <laughs> I don't want any of that gum. <laughs> last piece. Oh, that looks legit Come on. You, we got to do it for him. No, I did it last time. You do it. Oh, Matt, it's your turn. What? Elect oh, electricity. God. Oh, I can't. I can't. No. Yeah, electricity's, yeah. It's sire! <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I, yeah, I did it last time. It's the sickest feeling, dude. No! The pen ones, it's not on. Yeah, I'm so over it. Ah. Oh. oh, it didn't work. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck a duck. Oh, fuck a duck, everyone. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's broken. Oh. Oh, the bug comes out. Ah, so it's not a an electricity one. It's a, a little bug scare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's great to see. All right, that is the PO unboxing. Thank you, everyone, for sending your lovely gifts in. Matt, can you read out the PO box? I forget it every day. It is PO box 256, Tagum 4018, Queensland, Australia. Send us some weird send shit. It, send your shit, man. We open everything live on the podcast. We've got a little poo here. we got human remains all over Fuck the table. Duck. Fuck a duck. A fucking condom full of jizz this week. Man, our PO box is genuinely, you never know what you're going to get. And that's thanks to you guys. So give yourselves a little cut on the back if you're sitting at home having a pipe it's very fully actual very fully actual so keep it up <laughs> all right i'm fucking i'm fucking like like should let's, we do let's the move on no nah, i reckon we've been going for about six days yeah i'm i don't that. even feel like yeah your little german spiel we gotta film some tiktoks all right everyone it's time for the prank call and for this week's prank call i'm gonna call the taxidermist the people who stuff animals and i'm gonna ask if they can stuff my wife my dead wife as arnold fucking fine She's sick. Hello, Lauren speaking. Oh, hello, Lauren. My name is Arnold Fine. Is this uh, the uh, taxi uh, dummy? Yeah, how can I help? Yes, so um, I have a few inquire. I uh, first know uh, what what do you put in the in the animal to make them uh, stiff. Um, it depends what it is. Look, I specialize pretty much primarily in birds these days. Mm -hmm. um, so what are you actually after? So it's a strange uh, request. I have large pig. I have large pig been uh, in the family maybe uh, 10, 12 years. And uh, the pig, uh, the brown for children to grow up it, uh, like a family. It uh, sleep inside and uh, the pig is a little sick uh, and uh, getting old, old very quickly. Yeah, okay. So I have one pig and uh, also very uh, strange uh, request here, I know, and uh, I, uh, your first person I call, okay? So I don't know rule and rules about it Lord. or that, but uh, my wife, my wife is sick. Uh, she been sick for maybe 10 years now, so uh, it's no shock. It's no shock that she die soon, okay? Uh, and uh, the kids, uh, they they said they don't want to uh, never uh, see uh, my wife anymore. So uh, I think uh, I call, I ask, uh, and I have money to pay. Uh, would you consider a taxidermy on my wife and uh, my, my pig? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's actually interfering with a corpse. I think it's illegal. What if, because uh, I, I, I ask uh, the funeral uh, man, I say, he asked me, oh, you want uh, cremate? You want bury? I say, uh, no. I uh, call a taxi dummy. He laughed too, but uh, I uh, would like to have my wife in her seat uh, looking out at the window there and when uh, the kids yeah. come home. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I only deal with fur and feathers. So, well, can um, you uh, not it's, it's, put same same stuff on? You put in Bert. Put in my wife. I don't know. 
if uh, if I check uh, with the law after a funeral. Uh, even if you did, it's not my area. I couldn't do that. I could not do that job for you. You know how to uh, do uh, the taxi, Demi? Yes, I. Uh, you provide the uh, service. I give you I, the money, and uh, no, 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 no. I, w I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Why? Uh, why not? I, 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 I pay you very uh, whatever you want to charge. Uh, it uh, mean a lot to me and my uh, children to have my wife. She's been uh, sick so long. She always in bed. So we'd like to have her stuffed and propped up in the lounge room, uh, looking out are the you window. Is this, are you serious? Are you sure this is not a joke? Uh, no, no. I, um, look, uh, my wife been sick for ten years. Okay, she's sick yeah. for ten years. We have talked about it. My wife, my wife have no problem with it. Uh, she does not want uh, cremated. She don't want it. And uh, my kids say, they say, Papa, uh, uh, when where, where mommy dies, uh, we never see her anymore. And uh, I think, well, uh, what if I uh, preserve her somehow and put her in her favorite uh, lounge room chair and just have her in the house? Huh? Yeah, look, I don't know how well human skin tans. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, would One way you, or another, I'm not your girl. Um, Considering I work on like small birds, look, uh, what if little parrots and stuff? So it's what, not what, my. What you normally area. What you normally charge for a little bird, little fluffy bird? What you normally oh, it depends. charge? Hey, look. Anyway, look. I I've actually got to go and pick up my daughter. My wife is I've, sick. I need I you really to stuff my wife. Okay, ones. I give you twenty thousand huh? dollar. I give you twenty thousand dollar. Ten thousand now. Ten thousand after you fill her with the stuff. My wife is sick, screaming in the bedroom at night. I want her memory safe. I want her put in lounge room and the key Kids come home in the 10, 20 year and uh, can uh, touch their mama's face and say, uh, hello, mama, uh, it's good to see you. Huh? You understand? It's a, it's a strange thing. I know, I know, okay? We have a peak. We have a peak, okay? We have a pet peak and a sick oh, wife. He's talking to Sasha Baron Cohen right and now. And a I'm sick sure. wife. Sasha Baron who? Look, uh, look, I give you $20,000. I know a strange request. Yeah, look, I would actually go to someone that, that deals in that sort of... Uh, I'll Google, I'll Google exactly. where can I stuff my wife. But uh, nothing <laughs> nothing comes up, only uh, Just taxidermy. Go, go, do, go Google and go taxidermy near me and pick the next one on your list because, yeah, it's not something I can What do uh, you, you sell the stuff that you put in the bird? Do, do you I sell it? Oh. Uh, no, I don't. Would, uh, what if I pay you to show me how to stuff my wife? I don't know how to stuff the wife. Well, how, same thing with bird. Bird, human, same thing. The bird will walk on two legs, the human work on two legs, feather, skin, same thing. Yeah, look, they're not... Look, seriously, I've got to go and I've, I, I have to end this call now because I have to go. You are, uh, you, my kids, kids will be so devastated. Uh, to oh, you know, there's plenty of other taxidermists uh, around. I look, suggest calling another one. Uh, look, uh, you taxidermists, the other one said the same thing. I'm begging you, please stuff my sick wife and uh, <laughs> put her in the lounge room for me and uh, my kids. Huh? <laughs> um... Uh, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, not happening. Well, what about uh, my pig, huh? Oh, I don't do pigs either. Pigs are awful to work on. You only do a bird. A bird is so stupid little animal. Huh? Why you stuff a bird? Just put a flick him in the bin or something. Bird you don't need to stuff and put up. No one remember bird. Bird just a flying fluff ball. Huh? They only live maybe six, seven years, huh? Put a pig or a human, you make a good business, huh? Maybe sit down, think about it, and taxidermy uh, wives. <laughs> no, you um, sit down, think about taxidermy wife, or uh, I bring, I bring her in tomorrow. Huh? Get some uh, other training. Look, how about you check into the legalities of that? Okay, yeah. And I, then, uh, okay, I call, I call, I call the police. Back to that question, that it's actually illegal to do it. Okay, well, how about I bring my wife to your business, and you can measure her, see what her skin feel like, and um, no, and then no, we can see that. that, huh? I, I bring her around. Okay, I bring her around. Uh, you available tomorrow, maybe 10 a.m. Huh? She wake up maybe <laughs> nine nine thirty. I give her some coffee. Uh, 
I'm not that idea. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm not. I bring her around. Yeah, I, I decide I bring her around. I'm, I'm coming over tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm coming over with my sick wife. My wife okay. is sick. All right, well, look, I'll see you then. Hey, who I'll is see you this? Then. Who is this? <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Bye. I love you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she sounded so chill. Fuck, I like her. Uh, I love it every now and then she gets serious and then she giggles. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that fucking bird story fit. Oh, that was the best Arnold oh, Who the fuck like- would get a b- bird story? Stuff, man. <laughs> Look, you fucking own a bird, that's all right, but don't get it stuffed. Stuff, stuff, it's already stuffed on the outside. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, I agree. I reckon, do you reckon humans should be able to be taxidermied? Yeah, it'd be cool. Imagine having your whole generation oh, in a room. Yeah. I'm glad you-, you guys said it because years ago, um, when photography was first coming around, they would actually um, photograph dead, dead relatives right. in photos. You know, photos, they always look so stunned. Like yeah, stunned. It's, I've seen this that a in lot the of others. the time. Yeah, in the movie, the others, dead. they talk See? about. See? So, it should be, you should be able to do it. Yeah, it's legal then. If, um, if one of our viewers, surely, there's a hole in the market there, start a business. It's because, like, if you can get your... You can get your fucking sick wife burnt, her corpse burnt to ashes, or you can fucking dig a hole and smoosh her into the ground. Yeah, it's surely nicer you be able way to, to do it. Surely you should be able to stuff her with some shit and then fucking prop her up in your lounge room, cunt. Think about it. It's so fucked up. You're burning someone or burying someone. Why not just keep them? Matt? Matt. Stuff them and keep them. That makes sense. I'm on your side. Think about it this way. I've just thought of something too. If your wife dies, you stuff her, keep her. She's preserved. She's not rotting. Can you, I, could, um, you could still. I know you, really? I know you were going to say that. You could that. still fuck her. That's illegal, though, man. That's your necrophilia coming it's back your out, wife. man. Yeah, it's She's, not. It's yeah. not consent if they're dead, man. Something to think about. That's so true. If any of our viewers are interested in starting a business, look into it. There you go. It started as a prank call, and bang! Now we've given you guys a business idea. Yeah, fuck. That's some university stuff brought onto the podcast, and that is why this podcast is just so like it's just there one minute, then it's over here branching out and changing the world in this strange strange pattern that i've never seen before i've never seen this before age restricted like we age restricted here good video here a prank call there michael's necrophilia next minute so it's like what's going on like i don't even know where we are right now is this i'm i'm fucking i'm cold like i'm really cold i'm lonely um Anyway, Sorry. don't forget to fucking comment, guys. All right, comment because YouTube doesn't show our shit to people, so it's up to you guys to like the video, to comment on it. All right, the things have slowed down. Our growth has slowed down over like the last four or five weeks. We've been a bit fucking podcast has haven't haven't has been as fucking on the fucking ball. I don't think no because okay, I think you, growth has been the same. Some some of the fucking podcasts that happen are just so fucked that. You can't, you can't have people, even last week, you shat, all right? You can't have people shitting every single week. But even like what I mean is every single time a video came out, it would be the most viewed video okay. yeah, in that time frame. And now it's slipping down the ladder a little bit. You know what I mean? So they're not like banging out of the gate as they were. So we got to fucking just keep, it's the only way. YouTube doesn't show our videos to people. I did have a few people comment that it's not being suggested to them anymore, like it would when we put a new one out. That they said it usually me. happens. But then I had other people say, oh, it is coming up in suggestions. Yeah, it did come up in my suggested mm. as well. When I was logged into the Marty and Michael YouTube, it comes up. Funny thing is, it, I don't think it ever comes up in mine. And I'm subscribed to yeah. my personal. Yeah, so Shit, I don't know. Come to think but, of it. Um, no, but just know. turn on post notifications if I'm wet. Fucking seriously, turn them on now because but you might not. You might, oh, they might not get shown you anymore but anyway it's enough of us begging for things from you because at the end of the day we're the fucking best at, we're the best in the world at everything I'd say that yeah that, that is not unreasonable to say that we are the best in everything that we do and this podcast is an expression of being the best it's fully actual we're the best we're the 
We're the best. fucking motherfucking best. We are the We're the best. best. Brown best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Matt, we're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. You fucking don't forget it. You can't. Matt? Sorry.